Hey everyone, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you a new tutorial. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to customize the different theme colors of the new Rhythmic Trader mobile app and show you how to customize some fonts as well. So on the main login screen, we already have a couple different options right in front of us. Right underneath the sign in button, you'll see there's an option. It looks like a little moon with stars. Um, you can change this on or off. This will give you a light or a dark theme. So feel free to choose whatever one is uh, better on your eyes. And then right below that, we also have some different coloring options that we can customize. This will simply customize and change the color of your background. So right on the login screen, feel free to just choose whatever one is uh, your favorite and go ahead and click sign in. Now, once you're signed in, depending on which theme colors you chose in uh, that last setting there, you'll see the background colors change and so are my light and dark theme options. Now, for whatever time uh, you want to change these without having to actually close down the app or log out, you can do so by left clicking the three little lines in the top left. That's that orange hamburger icon button. And you can customize additional settings by clicking on the cog wheel, this gear at the top right next to your pencil. You can see this menu selected, the cog wheel turns blue, and then we have those same background settings here. So again, click through them. If you want to change them on the fly, you can just come up here while you're using the app. Down below, we have a new option that's not available on the main menu. This is your transparency or opacity. This will essentially make your menu icons either transparent or not. As you can see, when I turn it off and on, it becomes more of a solid. If I have this on, I really can't see what's going on in the background. So this is just personal preference, but you can turn this off or on as needed. Now that it's transparent, you can actually see behind me what it looks like with dark mode turned off. Right now I'm on a light theme. Watch what happens when I turn it on. You can see my charts become this uh, dark black color, uh, maybe a little bit easier on the eyes, especially at nighttime. So again, all personal preference, feel free to choose whatever best suits you. Let's go back up here, go back to our customization options. We now have text size. So again, if this default font is too small for your eyes you can click on the medium size one or you can click on the large size one and you can see all the widgets or the different font within your widgets on your app here either becomes larger or smaller depending on which one you choose and then finally in terms of font customization we do have the ability to choose our font so again Feel free to choose whatever one best suits you. You can see right in this menu here, the font is changing exactly as I'm choosing. And then you can see it in the background as well. So choose whatever one best suits your eyes. Now there are, are a couple of options and customization options that you could do within these individual panels yourself that I'll show you here. You can click on the cog wheel in the top left of your little panel for your different symbols. And then you have actions such as turning off confirm actions. This will essentially turn your platform into a mode of one click trading. What this means is that when you go to place an order, whether it's a buy or sell, whatever the order type is, if you have this on, you'll need to essentially double click that button. It's a way to avoid mistakes, accidentally misclicking. If you have this off, it may potentially make the platform a little bit more efficient because you don't have to double tap every time you're placing an order. But in my opinion, it is a lot more easy, especially on mobile, to accidentally just tap something and place an order. So just use this as your description. Just keep in mind if you turn this off, you know, it, it is a little bit easier to make a mistake, but it's potentially quicker to place your orders. Then finally, you could choose and customize something like your default quantity. By default, it is one. You can click these arrows to increase or decrease your quantity and then the large ones to increase or decrease by 10 at a time. And then finally, you have PNL options that you can customize by default. It's set to auto. You could also change this to open PNL only so it won't show PNL for closed positions. You could show total, which does both open and closed PNL, or if you just don't want to see it, you could turn it off. And that's about it for customization when it comes to theme colors, background colors, things like that. Again, if you want to sign out and go to the main menu, you could either force close your app or you can open up this little hamburger icon in the top left and then actually just click on this red power button. And that'll bring you back to the main menu where you have your customized options again. And that really wraps it up. Just wanted to make a really quick tutorial on how to access your customization options within this platform for anybody who may have had trouble finding it. 
We've actually covered this feature in our total overview of the platform, but we wanted to make this video specifically for those just looking at this feature alone. So we hope this video helped. If you have any questions on the software, you can leave them down in the comment section below, or we'd encourage you to come over to our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com. Feel free to head over there, create a post, and we'll help you out on our forum. Thanks for watching, and again, we hope this video helped.